How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for genetic slash pathology for step one. I'll keep this clip consolidated and not waste our time. Okay, a nearly identical question shows up on one of the offline NVMe exams for step one. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M E H L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now, start the clip. 50 year old man has a 12 hour history of shooting groin pain, non contrast CT of the abdomen, confirms diagnosis. He had a similar episode a year ago. His serum calcium is 12.1 milligrams per deciliter, normal range 8.4 to 10.2. Questions asking which gene mutation does he have? So, this is obviously calcium ureterolithiasis, okay? Probably secondary to hyperparathyroidism. Uh, so let's just whip through the answer choices here. Should I say BRAF? Wrong fucking answer. This is for some melanomas. Okay, BRAF codes for a tyrosine kinase, and uh, it's an oncogene. That's pretty much all you need to know. There's a weird drug called vemurafenib that inhibits it. Never seen it assessed, okay? But just BRAF, oncogenic tyrosine kinase. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, EGFR, wrong answer. This is going to be uh, many cancers, but for US Millie, non-small cell lung cancer, there's a drug called erlotinib, erlotinib, okay? It's assessed on the step one, and it antagonizes EGFR tyrosine kinase, okay? For non-small cell lung cancer, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, CRAS or CROSS, wrong answer. This is mutated in some colon cancers. CRAS codes for a GTPase, and in order for a GT PAs to shut off, you need to have GTP cleaved into GDP, and that can't happen in CRAS mutations. So we get constitutive activity. It's always on. And as I just fucking said, this is responsible for some colon cancers. That's all you really need to know for USMLE. Just CRAS equals colon cancers. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, MEN1 is the correct answer. Now, instantaneously, this is a little bit weird, right? You say, wait a second, I thought MEN1, we had a triad of parathyroid, adenoma, or diffuse foregland hyperplasia, that's number one. Number two, pituitary adenoma. Number three, pancreatic adenoma of some kind. Here, we only have uh, parathyroid, it seems, right? So how does this make sense for MEN1? I agree with you, okay? But it's not my fucking opinion. There are some questions on the NBME exams where they give you the MEN syndromes, 2A and 2B as well, where you might only get one finding. I've seen uh, medullary thyroid carcinoma, and the answer was RET, okay? But they didn't give... Uh, the other findings in men 2a and men 2b okay so obviously 2a 2b you're going to have medullary thyroid carcinoma pheochromocytoma and then 2a is going to have parathyroid adenoma diffuse foregland hyperplasia 2b marfanoid body habitus mucosal neuromas but as i just fucking said i've seen medullary thyroid carcinoma nothing else the answer is just red so that's your mini factoid here apart from being aware of the men's syndromes uh, just knowing that you don't have to have the full constellation Okay, you can just have an isolated finding. And we eliminate to get there because the other ones don't make sense. Choice E, MLH1, wrong fucking answer. This is one of the mismatch repair genes, microsatellite instability for HNPCC. Okay, so this is going to be a hereditary non polyposis colorectal cancer, MLH1, MSH2, MSH6, PMS2. And this will be not just polyps of the colon, despite the name non polyposis, but also a gynecologic cancer is high yield. Okay, choice. Fucking F is it? TSC1, tuberous sclerosis, long discussion. Okay, but you're going to have uh, adenoma sebaceum, angiofibromas, uh, subungual fibromas, nail bed tumors, cardiac rhabdomyoma, angiomyolipoma of the kidney, uh, periventricular nodules, which are your tubers, mental retardation before the age of one, can present with seizures, ash leaf spots, okay, hypopigmented macules, shade green patches, hyperpigmented velvety lesions. Point is, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.